Good morning and welcome to the Daily Halacha. The Daily Halacha is sponsored by the Morgan family in memory of Bella's mother, Dr. Ellen Shanzer of Blessed Memory, Ilana Bat Yisrael. We have been learning the laws of eating dairy after meat. Last time we talked about Mar Ukva's father, whose custom was to wait 24 hours after eating meat before eating dairy. Mar Ukva said he only waits until the next meal. And the question of how that term, the next meal, Suda Haba'a or Suda Acheret, is defined is the key to understanding how long the wait is between eating meat and dairy. Rabbi Mulamid says as follows, Ladat Rov HaRishonim, Kavanat Mar Ukva L'Lam Deinu Shetzarich L'Hafsik Ben Achilat Basar L'Achilat Chalav L'Fachot Kishir Hazman Sheben Shte HaSudot Shayu Regilim L'Echol B'Chol Yom. Mar Ukva meant that we should wait the normal amount of time it was to eat, it was between the two meals that they ate in those days. Harishana Baboker, the first one in the morning, Vashniya Ba'erev, and the second one in the evening or in the, or at night. Ukeshechishvu et Sha'ot Yatsa Shalakola Pachot of Rushesh Sha'ot Ben Shteya Sudot. And at the very least, doing the calculation between the early meal and the second meal, it was a minimal of six hours. They would have a late breakfast and um, closer to midday, and then they would wait at least six hours before they would eat after Marav. Nimza, she'azman she'atzarich l'amtim ben achilat basar l'chalav hu sheish sha'ot. Based on this type of calculation, the custom arose to wait six hours between before eating dairy, after eating meat. And Rabbi Malamed says, this is the custom of Yotzei Sfarad, the Sfaradi community, v'rov Yotzei Ashkenaz, and the majority of the Ashkenazi community. Then he offers a second opinion. Ma'ukva means just in that meal one is not allowed to eat meat and dairy. Aval, the next meal, regardless of when that next meal is, mutar one is allowed to eat uh, dairy. This is an amazing opinion. That is, as, right after you're finished with a meat meal, clean the table, say berkat hamazon, clean and rinse your mouth, and then you could eat dairy. This, the custom, even though technically speaking, would allow it right after the meal, it developed that they would wait an hour just to be a little more careful, be careful and to indicate clearly that it is a, def- a, a different meal. And also, waiting an hour removes the requirement to clean and rinse one's mouth. And finally, some have a custom of waiting three hours. Usvaratam going back to the next meal the, the, the sort of the first op- opinion we do it based on the meals that are eaten regularly in a day and since now we eat three meals a day it's around three hours uh, between meals give or take and so that's how the opinion of three hours develops we have six hours based on a two meal a day position we have one hour based on the idea that the next meal can be whenever you want it to be. It's not based on a regular schedule, and we're just wait an hour to be careful. And the three-hour position based on the idea of eating three meals a day. These are all valid customs. One does not need to change their custom. Rabbi Malavin writes, L'chol mi she'ein l'mishprachato minhag muvhak lahakel. If one does not have a long-standing established family position on this, to be lenient, either for one hour or three hours, nachon shiakpid lishmor sheish sha'ot. He says that the preferred position, again, only if one does not have an established family custom, is to wait six hours. Have a wonderful day, everybody.